And hello there. I'm Funky Monkey, and welcome to another edition of Funky Monkey at the Movies. With me as ever is my nameless producer. Hello. And tonight is the big one. I know I've talked about big ones before, but this is the biggest of the big ones. Tonight, we have been to see Avengers Endgame. And it's a lot to take in. Like, almost three hours worth. Yeah. But... They used it uh, surprisingly well. Yeah. It, uh, it didn't seem to drag very much. Well, the first 45 minutes to an hour were quite dire, but I suppose it had to be. Well, quite maudlin. Yeah. But yeah, they were a bit down because, you know, oh, we've lost. It's all sad. And then... Et cetera, et cetera, yeah. And then there's a bit of a time skip... And Ant-Man reappears. And that's what kicks off the plot. Yeah. I don't know how much I'm going to spoil. I was going to say, you should probably warn that it would be spoiler heavy. Because I'm going to drop out a load of spoilery stuff. Yep. This is going to be spoilerific as anything. Spoilerific AF. So, if you don't want to know any spoilers, I'll leave a time point to skip to right about now. Okay, if you're still here, you want to know what happens. Or you've already seen it. Should we start with the hero body count? Go on then. So, Iron Man dies, which in some ways I think he's kind of a uh, fitting tribute because he goes full circle that he started off with Iron Man. And then the last film ends with Iron Man passing away. Mm hmm. And saving everyone. Yep. That's a heavy spoiler. Yeah. The well, heaviest of heavy spoilers, actually. I guess we knew that uh, everyone, like the people were going to win. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that was kind of like All inevitable. their contracts are up. Well, yeah. I suppose they are. All the old guard, anyway. Yep. So now you've got the new guard. But if we are talking spoilers... Good news for everyone who hates Brie Larson, Captain Marvel didn't just come in and save everyone. So, the first part, you know, it's kind of like Dewa and Maudlin, like you say, like the first Dewa. And then the second Dewa picks up, and he's quite funny, and there's a lot of, well, there's a few laughs in there. Yep. And action and adventure. And it, it almost kind of borrows from Ant Man. Like yeah. with their idea of the time heist. Yep, the Ant Avengers. Yeah. And then the last era was like, wow, oh my god. Just straight up battle. Yeah. Straight up return of the king. Yeah, and it wasn't even just the battle, but it was like stuff that happened in the battle as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was just like a mile a minute. Yeah. Switcheroos, reversals, and just when you think it's all going to go the same way again, it goes completely the opposite. Well, here's another massive spoiler, but like, it's got to be said, when you see Captain America wielding me all near, I came dangerously close to almost experiencing an emotion. I was gobsmacked. Yeah, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all knew it, and... Thor even suspected it, and Thor was proven right. He was worthy. You know what? We never even actually finished the um, superhero body count. We just kind of like jumped into stuff. Okay, so, so the body count. One, Iron, Iron Man. Man. Two, as far as I can see, the Vision. Uh, oh, yeah. Three, Black Widow. Which is a shame, because that means we can't get a Black Widow film. Unless it's set in the past sometime. Which I could still do, I suppose. Yeah, a Black Widow origin. Yeah. I think Gamora's back. But she's like... Like she was at the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy. No, she's probably still dead. I don't know, because like, she was alive. Yeah, and, and she, she might have gone back to the past. And she need Quill in the nut. And like, there was that bit on the ship where it's going searching and there was a picture of Gamora. So if anything, I think the next Guardians of the Galaxy film 
will be about the Guardian. See if they can seeing if they can find the Gamora. That's my <laughs> prediction. Well, we won't that find out that until after Suicide Squad two. Yeah. And the joyful emancipation of Harleen Quinzel. Well, I'm glad that they're getting James Gunn back because he did such a good job on the first two. Thank goodness. Yeah. Yeah, so, anyone else die? Uh, no. Apart from all the villains. Yeah. <laughs> That's the big final thing. Just when you think it's all over for the good guys, complete reversal. Yeah. <laughs> Completely. Yeah. I mean, it was good the way they had that big switcheroo with the, the gauntlet and everyone got the gauntlet and were running around with it. Ah, the I got it, I got it sequence. And there's, um, I mean, it was quite good kind of near the end where Thanos has got the gauntlet and then he doesn't realise that the Infinity Stones have gone from it and he says, I am inevitable. And then he snaps his fingers, but nothing happens. Nothing happens. And then it turns out that Iron Man has stolen them all and put them in his gauntlet. And he just says, I am Iron Man, and then snaps his fingers instead. Which is sort of another way of it all coming full circle. Yeah. <sighs> I'm kind of glad that um, Captain America got a happy ending as well. Yeah. With him returning back in time to live a whole life out. It'd be interesting to see if um, they sneak any kids out of that or into that kind of thing, Captain America kids. And then, like, he could have a grandkid and he could have some of his Captain America powers. Or they could always do Isaiah Bradley Captain America. Yeah. Well, we've already got Sam Wilson becoming the next Captain America. Yeah. Probably with um, Bucky helping him out. Yeah. Bucky was robbed. Yeah. He deserves a happy ending as well. Well, I suppose... He gets to be freed from Hydra control and things. Although, uh, yeah, that was another bit in with Captain America. And he was in that lift. I was thinking, this is deja vu. And then it's going to kick off. And it's going to be a big massive fight scene in the lift. Just like in Captain America 2. But then there wasn't. Yeah. An eternally rift on Captain America. Proclaiming himself to be Hydra. Yeah. But yeah, we wouldn't like that if it was real. But the things we know now, and knew then, and the things he knows now, and I, the bluff that he pulled off. I just wonder if any of it, like, affects anything. Like, obviously, Loki now got away at the end of Avengers. Maybe and which means that he's still alive. It? Yeah, maybe. He could be, possibly. It was good to see old um, Korg and Meek again, yeah. as well. So. I have to say, generally, I might not have put it across very well, but I think this is possibly the greatest piece of cinematography that's ever existed in the entire history of film. But it's certainly the greatest film that you've ever seen. Yes. It is certainly a brilliant capper to the trilogy. The trilogy? A brilliant capper to the past three or four phases. I'd say to the first decade of movies. Yep. To a ten-year cinematic journey. And it's seldom ever been anything less than watchable. Yeah, even some of the poor ones, like the second and third Iron Man and the second Thor film. Some people might even say the first Thor film. You know, some people didn't like Ant-Man 2. Some people didn't like Ant-Man 1. Crazy! I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of uh, Black Panther. And I certainly wasn't a fan of Captain Marvel. No, but we won't go into that. No, not here. But yeah, damn good movies, all of them. Yep. And this one is the greatest one of all. And of course, for the second half of the Infinity War, it is also a very good movie. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm kind of glad that like they brought Thanos back in some way to be the villain again. So he had like his second shot of villainy. And then they had to kick his butt again. Yeah. Apparently, in the comics now, they reckon that each stone has got its own, like, world inside, and it's like a power world where everyone's fighting all the time inside the power stone. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Although, to be fair, I'd quite like to see a film with all the assembled female characters. That might be interesting. Yeah. So then, final score and ladder. Okay. 
Well, I'm gonna give it a solid 10. I'll go for it. I'll go for it. 10 out of 10. And yes, yes, I am going to put it right at the top of the ladder. Ditto. I've forgotten all the other films. Remind me. Well, there's only been uh, Shazam and... Uh, Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel, yeah. That's that? Okay. So, well, it'll go Avengers Endgame, Shazam and Captain Marvel. Yeah, well, I'm going to put Avengers Endgame and Infinity War together at the top, because together they're one movie, and then Captain Marvel and then Shazam. Shazam is a good movie. I just like Captain Marvel a bit better because of all the punching. Okay. So this has been Funky Monkey and his nameless producer. Yep. E-begging links are below. Yeah. We've gone into a tunnel. Yeah. So it's a bit echoey. Don't forget to check the mines page. Yes, don't forget to check the mines page. We'll come out of this tunnel. We're magically not echoey anymore. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you at the movies. Bye.